Good morning. Our gallery hymn today will be number 332. 332, Hail Mary, Gentle Woman. 332. Our gathering hymn number 332, Hail Mary, Gentle Woman. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed, Blessed are you, O my women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb. Teach us, us well. You 
my chosen by the Father. You were chosen for the Son. You were chosen from a woman and for a woman shining In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, as we celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord, in communion with Pope Francis, with all the bishops and priests, and all the local churches throughout the world, we, the people of God, make an act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, for Russia and Ukraine. We venerate Mary for she is the mother of God, the mother of Christ, and the mother given to us by Christ as he hung upon the cross. She is for us a model and image of the church, one who is united with Christ and filled with his spirit and whose heart beats with that of her son. She knows all our struggles, our sufferings, our hopes, and with a mother's awareness and concern. Today, as one people, we offer our prayers and supplications for an end to war and for peace. And as we consecrate and entrust Russia and Ukraine to the maternal embrace and protection of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may the Queen of Peace preserve the world from the madness of war. My dear brethren, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We all together say, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heaven and King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, will that your word should take on the reality of the human flesh. In the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature. 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord, your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear my Lord, I come to do your will. Hear my Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept, not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when he came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight in. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. For Christ says, Sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin befruited to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, 
and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Today, in this most special day, the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord brings forth us to the scenario of the Christmas season, of which we are recalling the very birth and the perfect design of God's plan for the incarnation of His only begotten Son. Well, today is in the Lenten season. It is also situated that the context of the conception of Jesus is also believed to be near in also in his particular death. If we are trying to notice the countdown, it's March 25, nine months today will be Christmas Day. And thus, in this careful arrangement of the liturgical season in our church, we are always reminded to look into our own very hearts, the model of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Blessed Virgin Mary, as we always see, is that through her, the perfect design of God has been unfolded. She is the Immaculate Conception. There are lots of things that the Lord has always designed for her in her sinlessness becomes all of our own thoughts, our heart's desires, and everything that we have in our own lives is always coming through her in her loving and her powerful intercession. In our gospel today, we have heard how Mary has perfectly given herself to the call of the message of God to the angel. As she said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it dawn to me according to your word. In Mary's humility, in Mary's self-surrender, in Mary's giving up of everything that she has, in her full trust to the divine providence and plan of the loving God, without any question, Mary has perfectly and profoundly believe everything that was given to her. And though she may not know what will be the consequences are, but still her full trust of everything that she has was given to God. Today we pray the act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary as we pray for Russia and Ukraine the act of consecration is also an act of which we give our own entire selves, our being, our disposition, our faith, our trust, and everything that we have to the loving Lord. We firmly believe that by this act of consecration in our own faith as well, that the loving Lord will hear all our prayers to the powerful intercession of the sinless, blessed Virgin Mary, she will intercede for us to restore peace and harmony into our own world, especially in Ukraine and also in Russia. As we unite together our own very hearts today with our diocese and the entire world, praying the act of consecration to the blessed Virgin Mary, 
is our earnest desire to pray for the entire world. We also pray for all those who have died, especially to the cause of this war. And because we also, also entrust them the loving embrace of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And finally, my dear friends, as we pray the act of consecration after Holy Communion, we continually entrust ourselves also that our hearts may always find peace in the loving Lord. As we unite all our prayers together with the entire church and the entire world, may we come to be heard by the loving Lord in our sincere faith and trust in the care of the Almighty God. He will grant us peace and he will deliver us from the scourge of war. Amen. Let us now stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Blessed Virgin Mary, God takes flesh among us. The mystery of the Incarnation calls us to our loving Father, to the Incarnate Son. That the Church may be seen as the Incarnation of the working body of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That people of goodwill may learn that Christ has united himself with every person in taking our human nature. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That scientists and technologists may work with noble ideals to further human dignity and happiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That pregnant mothers may welcome the new life of Mary as Mary welcomed her son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who suffer because of the scourge of war, especially in Ukraine, that peace may be granted to them soon and may keep them in tranquility and freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also include in our prayers for Joseph Walsh Sr. and John Lowry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Loving Father of the Incarnate Word, we bring our intentions before you, the fabric of our daily lives made holy by your Son, our brother in the faith, who lives and reigns forever and ever. 
Our offertory hymn will be number 546. 546, See Us, Lord, About Your Altar. See us, Lord, about your water, for so many we are one. Many souls I love you united in your heart of Christ, your Son. Hear our prayers, O loving Father, hear in them your Son, our Lord. Hear him speak our love and worship as we sing with one accord. Once were seen the blood and water, now is seen but bread and wine. Was in human form he suffered, now his form is his blood aside. Wheat and grapes unchanged the meaning, good and drink he is to all. Blessed in the Him we kneel, adoring, gathered by His love, sing forth. Hear us yet so much is needful in our frail disordered life. Stay with us and tend our weakness till the day of no more strife. Pray, my dear brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church offering so that she who is aware of her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that Christ who was to be born among men and for men's sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises of the children of Israel might come about and be the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in all your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the Lord. 
You are indeed only a Lord in the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall. So that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks broke it. Gave it to his disciples saying. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. To this, in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by a cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Barry, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At his Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. <coughs> Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, we truly speak at a mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, we truly speak at a mundi, 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. Like a child rest in his mother's arms, so will I rest in you. Like a child rest in his mother's arms, so will I rest in you. My God, I am not proud. I do not look for things to great. Like a child rest in his mother's arms, so will I rest in you. Like a child rest in his mother's arms, so will I rest in you. My God, I trust in you, you care for me, you give me peace. Like a child rest in his mother's arms, so will I rest in you. Like a child rest in his mother's arms, so will I rest in you. O oh, Israel, trust in God. Now I trust and trust in God. Like a child rest in his mother's arms, so will I rest in you. Like a child rest in his mother's arms, so will I rest in you.
that they return go now with God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. <clears throat> Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the truth. The mysteries of the true faith we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that we who has that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy to Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now kneel. To those who cannot kneel, may stand. We all now together pray the act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Together, O Mary, Mother of God, and our Mother, in this time of trial we turn to you. As our Mother, you love us and know us. No concern of our hearts is hidden from you. Mother of Mercy, how often we have experienced your watchful care and your peaceful presence. You never cease to guide us to Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Yet we have strayed from the path of peace. We have forgotten the lesson learned for the tragedies of the last century, the sacrifice of the millions who fell in the two world wars. We have disregarded the commitments we made as a community of nations, we have betrayed people's dreams of peace and the hopes of the young. We grew sick with greed. We thought only of our own nations and their interests. We grew indifferent and caught up in our selfish needs and concerns. We chose to ignore God, to be satisfied with our illusions, to grow arrogant and aggressive, to suppress innocent lives and to stockpile weapons. We stop being our neighbor's keepers and stewards of our common home. We have ravaged the garden of the earth with war, and by our sins we have broken the heart of our Heavenly Father, who desires us to be brothers and sisters. We grew indifferent to everyone and everything except ourselves. Now with the same we cry out, Forgive us, Lord. Holy Mother, and the misery of our sinfulness, Amid our struggles and our weaknesses, amid the misery of the iniquity that is evil and war, you remind us that God never abandoned us, but continues to look upon us with love. Every uh, forgive us and raise up to new life. He has given you to us and made your immaculate heart a refuge of the church and for all humanity. By God's gracious will, you are ever with us. Even in the most troubled moments of our history, you are there to guide us with tender love. We now turn to you and knock at the door of your heart. We are your beloved children. In every age, you make yourself known to us, calling us to conversion. At this dark hour, <coughs> help us and grant us your comfort. Say to us once more, am I not here? I who am your mother. You are able to untie the knots of our hearts in our times. You, you the place in our trust. We are confident that especially in the moments of trial, you will not be deaf to our supplication and will come to our aid. This is what you did at Cana in Galilee. When you interceded with Jesus and he worked the first of his signs to preserve the joy of the wedding feast, you said to him, 
they have no wine. Now, O Mother, repeat those words, that prayer. For in our own day we have run out of the wine of hope. Joy has fled. Fraternity has faded. We have forgotten our humanity and squandered the gift of peace. We open our hearts to violence and destructiveness. How greatly we need your maternal help. Therefore, O Mother, hear our prayer. Star of the sea, do not let us be shipwrecked in the tempest of war. Ark of the New Covenant, inspire project and paths of reconciliation. Queen of Heaven, restore God's peace to the world. Eliminate hatred and the thirst of revenge and teach us forgiveness. Free us from war. Protect our world from the menace of nuclear weapons. Queen of the Rosary, make us realize our need to pray and to love. Queen of the human family, show people the path of fraternity. Queen of peace, obtain peace for our world. O Mother, may your sorrowful plea stir into our hardened hearts. May the tears you shed for us make this valley parched by our hatred blossom anew. Amid the thunder of weapons, may your prayer turn our thoughts to peace. May your maternal touch soothe those who suffer and flee from the rain of bombs. May your motherly embrace comfort those forced to leave their homes and their native land. May your sorrowful heart move us to compassion and spar us to open our doors and to care for our brothers and sisters who are endured and cast aside. Holy Mother of God, as you stood beneath the cross, Jesus, seeing the disciple at your side, said, Behold your son. In this way, he entrusted each of us to you. To the disciple and to each of us, he said, Behold your mother, Mar Mother Mary. We now desire to welcome you into our lives and our history. At this hour, a weary and distraught humanity stands with you beneath the cross, needing to entrust itself to you and through you to consecrate itself to Christ. The people of Ukraine and Russia, we venerate with great love, now turn to you, even as your heart beats with compassion for them and for all those people disseminated by war, hunger, injustice, and poverty. For Mother of God and our Mother, to your Immaculate Heart, we solemnly entrust and consecrate ourselves the Church and all humanity, especially Russia and Ukraine, accept this act that we carry out with confidence and love. Grant that we may end in peace spread throughout the world. The fiat that you arose from your heart open the doors of history to the Prince of Peace. We entrust that through your heart peace will dawn once more. To you we consecrate the future of the whole human family the needs and expectations of every people, the anxieties and hope of the world. Through your intercession, may God's mercy be poured out on the earth and the gentle rhythm of peace mark our days. Our Lady of the Fiat, on whom the Holy Spirit descended, restore among us the harmony that comes from God. May you, our living fountain of hope, water the dryness of our hearts, in your womb, Jesus took flesh. Help us to foster the growth and communion you once trod the streets of your world. Lead us to a path of peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Be near to those who call on you, O Lord, and graciously grant your protection to all who place their hope in your mercy, that they may remain faithful in holiness of life and having enough for their needs in this world, they may be full heirs of your promise for eternity to Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and announce the good news to all. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 333.
333, Hail Holy Queen. Hail Holy Queen and throne above, O Maria, Hail Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria, joy of all ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim, heaven on earth resound the Sweetness here below, O Maria, a hope in sorrow and in woe, O Maria, try up for ye cherubim, sing with Seraphim, heaven on earth resound the hymn. Save, 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 Regina. 